Hello, job folks out there. Today in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys out there about what I got to on my weekend. I hope you guys are all having a lovely weekend. Happy Easter, everybody. I hope you guys have had a lovely Sunday rest so far. Yesterday, I got up and I am just loving this sunshine at the moment. I got ready for the day ahead and I had a bottle of seal. And then I tied up around the house and I went off for a walk and I had the go around the child shops and I got two dolls and a bag of bits and bobs of some clothing and most of it had to go in the bin because most of it was just a bit of tat. Did get a few little bits of dollhouse accessories so I put these away and got back and I sorted out the doll hairs because the hairs were a bit matted and crazy and put them away and I then One's got blue hair and one's got brown hair. I was going to show you, but they're upstairs and I can't be bothered to go get them. I'll have to show you in another vlog the new dolls I get. I'll probably do a big long vlog of all the dolls I've accumulated over the months. And I got a load of nature snaps and I got a cheeseburger and pasty, orange juice crusade and a ice bun with a chair on top which are my favourite at the moment, I love them, and saw quite a few people I know out and about, and then I got back and our final friends were over to visit, so I had a nice catch up with them, we just spent most of the time sat under the umbrella on the, the table out the back, and had nice chit chats, lots of cups of tea, I showed my final friends my dollhouse, and they loved the blue jet dolls, and then they went off and for tea we had cold chips and meat and I went upstairs and watched the newest episode of Supernatural and last week's casualty and I need to watch last night's casualty later on and then I went downstairs and was sorting my pre-trip dolls out and got them ready for me to sort out sort those out and dress them out and then I did some doll photography this morning and we watched Prince Got Talent and I watched a bit of the Goonies and then went to bed and my younger brother went out with his mates to the pub and then my dad picked him up from the pub and took him and his mates into town. He got back quite early in the morning and he was a little bit drunk and it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Amy and Josh, my twins of the family. They are both 20 today, makes me feel old. Can't believe there's no longer any teenagers in the house. And yeah, we're all getting old now. And this morning, we gave my brother his presents. We gave my younger sister her presents on the Friday when we went to the family gathering because she's up in uni at the moment and we're going to FaceTime her later on. And I put a massive soppy sibling post wishing them a happy birthday, as you do, with lots of embarrassing photos. And for brunch, we had bacon butties. My old brother was winding me up so much and I was just so cranky this morning. You know, when everything just seems to pee you off. And then I had a nice for fashion show and that candle down. My mum's in there, I don't know how to show, but because of her anemia, it makes your joints ache. So she was uh, psyching herself up to go in because it takes a lot of her. So I've been looking after her, making sure she's all right, giving her lots of cups of tea, making sure she's all right and just rested. And so I'll be off to, off to go help make a cup of tea and get her settled down again. I hate, hate seeing her in so much discomfort and yeah it's just not really nice but she's a trooper she's batting on and yeah my old sister is at hers and my older sister and her boyfriend went off to where they found hot fuzz the other day it's called wells it sounds like wells but it's not it's a different place and i need to go there sometime in the future because it's really nice there and also we still need to go to casco me and my old sister are planning on going there probably in the summer now and my younger brother and his girlfriend went off to the shops. They got back and they made some pasta and stuff for lunch. And they just out in the garden in the shade. And my dog has this one and one like headless chicken after the tennis ball. And I listened to a bit of Red Hot Chili Peppers and some other music on the TV. And I watched Flick of Dibley. Did some dogs and dogs. I some blue dog photography. Put my blue dog dogs away. And for my lunch I had a cheese and onion toasty and a cup of tea and my dad's gone to bed and I'm now going to be going off for a walk in a bit to get some nature snaps 
and enjoy this beautiful sunshine as Tuesday is supposed to be really rainy and gloomy again. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. My dad is going to be getting up in a little bit and then bringing my grandma over and we're going to be having pork chops for tea, which is good. And then tomorrow we're going to be having a massive roast, well, an Easter roast, and my grandma and grandpa and family friends are going to be coming over for a big roast. I can't wait for that. And I got a selfie and it made my eyes look really blue and my hair looked quite blonde. You can see bits of the blonde in it because of the sunshine. And my younger brother's girlfriend noticed it and said it was very nice. Bless her and she was asking me about how my volunteer at the charge was going. And also about how this week I find out if I've got this cleaning job. Fingers crossed. There's three positions going so I, I am in with a shop. And if this doesn't if this falls through i'm going to be signing on because i need a bit more support getting a job because of my disabilities and i tied up the kitchen like cinderella i am and around the house and i played with my main blue doll and it's a dozen and dozen blue doll photography a bit of arts and craft and worked on some illustrations and showed some of my nature stats that i got to my family friends the other day and my family friend was asking if I, there was any club I could join and I'm hopefully going to be joining this photography group also a drama group and art group to get me out and about more make new friends and so that should be good and I played with some play ball and a bit of lego and watched some stuff of Cod and BBC Player and catch up in to watch out the end room up there and I then was just a bit of Dido and I watched some episodes of Vic of Dibley love that show I love the jokes they do at the end Don Fudges is such a great actress, so funny. And I watched Ever After and watched a bit of Dot Two and a bit of Nine Three. And my mum was like, "No way!" Because we've watched a bit about a billion times. That's one of these films that I could watch over and over again and still not get tired of. I just love it so much. And I gave my mum and dad a Easter card this morning that I made at Morning Group a few Fridays ago that I'd forgotten about. I absolutely love it. It came out a lot better than I thought. Did you know when you make things, you're like, oh, this looks awful. And then you go back and you're like, actually, that doesn't look too bad. It was quite tricky. I did need a little bit of help tying the bow because I'm not very good at knots. And yeah, I really like it. It's so silly. And inside I wrote to mum, dad, and my siblings, Laura, Luke, Amy and Josh, happy Easter with an X. And it's got a nice little decoration in there. Uh, aren't I sweet, very creative, and my family friends are saying that, they're like, oh, I'm so creative because I created my Blue dolls and my dollhouse city, which I've shown you in tours, and I'm quite impressed at it, I've looked at it, my dollhouse, I was like, oh my gosh, I started with one little pink dollhouse, and it's just got bigger and bigger as it's gone on, and my cousins who have gone back to Ireland now, who came over with my auntie for last week, said that soon I'll be sleeping in my dollhouse and yeah that sounds about right but once my old brother moves down to Cornwall with his girlfriend hopefully this summer coming I'll get the room that me and my younger brother have a divided wall in I'll get it all to myself so I'll be able to fill it all up with dozen and doll stuff so that'll be a dream come true to have it and I'm gonna have my office just in the hallway that I've shown you in tours as well up there as well. I just hope the floor doesn't give way and I end up crashing down into the living room because I have got quite a lot of stuff and I just love my office. It's going to be good to have it upstairs because it'll be like a little sanctuary for me to go when my siblings are doing my head in like this morning when my older brother was winding me up. I don't know why I let him get to me but he just always ends up winding me up and poking me and hitting me and just He's one of the biggest kids of all. He teaches P in school, but he's one of the biggest kids of them all. And I watched some episodes of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Sex in the City. I started watching that on the site that I watched my TV shows on. I always thought it was called Sex in the City, but I didn't realise it's called Sex and the City. Also, this thing that my mum and me watched called Diagnosis Murder. I thought it was called Diagnosis Murder. It's Diagnosis Murder or something like that with David Dykin. I think he's about 94, 5 now. 
he's getting on a bit. Yeah, he was in the new Mary Poppins. Good, good on him. Still acting in his old age. And I still need to watch that. I'm not off to go get myself ready and go off on my walk and get some nice nature snaps. I hope you guys have enjoyed this lovely vlog for you guys, Easter vlog, and have a lovely weekend ahead. And enjoy your Sunday, and I shall see you soon with a new vlog. Go very soon. Bye.